Yo, what is up guys? Del Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So Tony Bellew, the disappearing man, the man who wants to be left alone. What did he say to Coogan Cassius? Coogan, when I retire, you're not going to see me again. Your boy Tony Bellew continues to make a fool of himself, claiming that Derek Chisora did enough to beat Alexander Yusek and that he was outworking Alexander Yusek 3-1 to one in terms of punches thrown. Absolute lunacy from Tony Bellew. I mean, once this fight finished, I expected a lot of hysteria in regards to Alexander Yusek's performance, a lot of people going over the top, and we certainly got that, but I didn't expect any people to actually have Derek Chisora winning this fight. I mean, what fight were you guys watching? I've seen a few people online saying that it could have been a draw, or Derek might have nicked it. I mean, if, if, if you think that's the case, I get that some fights are subjective, but this really wasn't one of them. And, you know, once again, Tony Bellew, um, proving that he's a terrible analyst in regards to boxing, and that he's not impartial and a piss-poor professional. His best mate, Derek Chisora, was fighting, and coming out with comments like this does his credibility no favours whatsoever. I mean, this was a guy, Tony Bellew, who was working for Sky on the night, and while the fight was going on, he wasn't commentating, but you could hear this guy round after round after round after round, screaming and cheering on Derek Chisora. And this guy, by the way, is an analyst. He is paid to break down a fight, explain what happened, what guys, what both guys did, in an impartial manner. That's what Tony Bellew's job is as an analyst. But time and time again, the guy fails to do so. The guy's emotions and personal relationships cloud his judgement in regards to talking about a fight. And we've seen this now multiple times from Tony Bellew and other Sky Matchroom commentators, ex-Matchroom fighters who are now commentating on Sky. These guys are not impartial. A lot of the times they're, they're commentating on fights or analysing fights in which a stable mate is fighting or a friend is fighting, and that's what we saw with Tony Bellew and Derek Chisora. They are friends. Tony Bellew is not impartial, and it was unacceptable to have him working on this fight as far as I'm concerned. Guys like him and Dave Caldwell should not be on these sort of fights when they've got personal relationships because it clouds their judgement. Obviously they're not professional enough to actually cover that up and call this fight how it was. Alexander Yusek outboxing Derek Chisora. Chisora had moments here and there, won three or four rounds, that's it. It was an 8-4 type of fight in favour of Alexander Yusek. Easy to score as far as I'm concerned. And yeah, I, I was very disappointed with um, the likes of Tony Bellew's take on this fight. I, I really was. I understand in certain circumstances, in certain fights, there are differing opinions because the fight is, it kind of played out that way, you know. One of those close fights could have gone either way. People see different things. But there was no way in hell anybody of sound mind and working eyes could have scored this fight to Derek Chisora. I just don't see it. So yeah, I'm very disappointed with the coverage in regards to this fight from Sky. Um, I do expect better. I do believe they really need to be looking at who they put on certain fights, who they've got commentating, and who they've got in the studio being analysts, because there's been too many times now where one of the analysts or commentators have a personal relationship with a fighter, and it clearly clouds their judgement, you know? Um, they need to be more professional. With Sky Sports, uh, with Sky Sports Boxing, sorry, it just seems to be like a big jobs for the boys click ex matchroom fighters patting each other on the back and giving the foreign fighter no credit whatsoever. You know, to me, Sky Sports, again, I've said this numerous times, but the commentary team, the presentation, the analysts, just not good enough and the worst in boxing. Commentary in general in regards to boxing and boxing coverage is pretty poor in general across the board, but at least other networks are professional I mean, Tony Bellew screaming round after round like a raving lunatic and still working for Sky on this show. Complete embarrassment. The guy's not impartial. Absolute joke. And yeah, let's be honest, man. I saw what was going on in regards to this fight. They was trying to prep the fans for a robbery. Um, Chizora was allowed to get away with so much fouling in this fight. I mentioned it in my, pre um, in my post fight uh, thoughts video. But the amount of fouling Chisora was doing in this fight was obscene. Not holding and hitting, headlock and hitting, low blows, and, and nothing was said about it. The referee 
just allowed Derek Chisora to do what he wanted. And Yusek contended with it and he got no credit whatsoever from the commentary team or the likes of Tony Bellew. According to Tony Bellew, Chisora was outworking him. Do you think Tony Bellew was scoring the punches that Chisora was hitting Yusek with when he had him in a headlock? Do you think? I mean, come on, man. Absolute joke. The coverage of this fight was a disgrace. The officiating was a disgrace. They tried to pull a fast one, basically. They tried to rob Yusek at gunpoint. But Yusek took that gun and slapped them in the face with it. I, I know what was going on here. Absolute disgrace. But credit to Yusek for getting through it, getting past it. He dealt with what Chizora threw at him, legal or illegal, pretty well. And he got the win. Was it a perfect performance? No. But in my opinion, it was still a pretty good performance. Like I said in my post-fight thoughts video, a B-plus performance by Alexander Yusek. I think a lot of people are going over the top in regards to how he looked in this fight. Did he get tagged in this fight? Yeah, he did, but he took the shots well, he showed good stamina, and he adjusted to win the fight. Pretty good performance in my opinion, but there we go. And yeah, again, Tony Bellew. I, I wish this guy was a man of his word. If that was the case, he would have disappeared like he said he was going to, and we wouldn't have to hear him um, disgrace himself like he did last night. Listen, man, I get that people have different opinions, but this wasn't coming from an impartial place. Clearly not. Um, reality is, Tony Bellew should not have been near this fight uh, working for Sky. Just that simple. Should have sat this one out as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, that's what we get now in the UK with, with boxing coverage. Um, Sky Sports really are at an all-time low. BT Sports, while they are better, they themselves aren't great. Um, the standard of commentary and punditry in boxing is awful. It really is. But Sky Sports, man, awful doesn't do it justice. I, I Honestly, I was disgusted with what took place last night. And um, it's funny, now Tony Bellews came out on Twitter this morning. And he's basically now kind of backpedalling from his original statements. As is Dave Coldwell. Very predictable. I mean... It's just like the reaction to Dillian White getting knocked out by Alexander Povetkin. Oh, lucky punch. These are paid analysts talking about boxing, and they're talking about lucky punches. I mean, come on now. It's an absolute farce, as far as I'm concerned. Absolute farce. But there we go. Maybe I need to do better and actually stop getting triggered by these guys. Maybe I'm partly to blame as well. Maybe I'll just get too wound up by this, but... I'm not one of those people who pretend to watch boxing with a sound off. Now, nah, not for me. I want to hear the sound of the punches. I want to hear the sound of the action. That's what I want to hear the whole environment, the atmosphere. That's what I want to hear when I watch boxing. I don't want to sit there uh, watching a fight with no sound. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. But it is what it is, I guess. Uh, maybe, like I said, maybe I should stop getting triggered by these guys. But I wouldn't get triggered if I didn't see people parrot what the Sky Sports team said. You know, I've seen people online saying that Chisora won and that he was out working Yusek and it was a closed fight, blah de blah de blah. It really wasn't, man. Watch the fight back. Watch it back with no commentary or a different commentary team to actually know what they're talking about. It Just an absolute shambles, man. Uh, it, it really was. And it's got worse, actually, since lockdown. Uh, since the boxing's been back, I think it's got a lot worse. Particularly, obviously, this card and also uh, Dillian White versus Alexander Povetkin. Yeah, I, I just expect a bit better. Again, I understand people have different opinions on fights, but there's certain fights in which, you know, it is, it's kind of obvious to what happened. And I think this fight was one of them, to be honest. But there we go. It is what it is. Share your thoughts below. Am I being too harsh on Tony the Bomber Bellew? Or do you agree? Share your thoughts below. Peace.